we wanted the theme of the annual meeting to really highlight what we think it is that both the AACR and Cancer Research Today is all about. And that is taking fundamental science discoveries, coming up with new therapies based on those discoveries and moving them into clinical assessment and ultimately to make a difference for patients. And the annual meeting will cover all of those aspects. It really is exciting to say that today we can say with certainty that the discoveries that have been made over the past 15 years are making a difference for patients with cancer. And you will see many uh, examples of that in the clinical trials symposia that will be at the annual meeting this year, all the way back to the more fundamental mechanisms that is really the bread and butter, if you will, of the AACR annual meeting. This year we will focus on a number of new technologies the CRISPR revolution as a technology and how that's changing how we do cancer research. We'll also, something very important for in one of the plenaries, we'll focus on cancer metabolism, another very new area in terms of how recently we've come to understand how tumors have a different type of metabolism than most other cell types and, and we will be focusing on how that might be used therapeutically. The breakthroughs that are making a difference today and that will continue to make a difference in the, in the short run are the breakthroughs in immunotherapy. It, it really is remarkable, the responses, the cures that are being seen in patients with various types of cancer through the use of different types of immunotherapy. So that will continue to be highlighted at this meeting. A number of new drugs, small molecule drugs, have been developed in the past few years. Some of those still in development, and those will be discussed, and many of which are now in clinical trials as well, and those clinical trials will also be discussed. I do remember my first meeting. It was uh, in 2003, so about 13 years ago. And the thing that I was most amazed by is the breadth of basic science, all the way from disease-oriented basic mechanisms all the way back to fundamental signaling and I really had never seen a meeting like that where you could go to into one session and hear the world's expert on RAS, go into the next session and hear the world's expert on sarcoma and the next session and hear the world's expert on some fundamental aspect of cell biology, all of which was focused on cancer. And it continues that way, the meeting today, now with the addition of clinical trials, because all of that fundamental science has moved into assessment in, in patients. And uh, I've been every year since then, largely because of that, because there's really no place that I've ever seen where you can see such a tremendous breadth of basic and translational science. I think it's important for young researchers to really get a grasp of the breadth of research that's going on in cancer science at the moment. It really spans from metabolism to chromatin biology to immunotherapy, and there are tremendous breakthroughs going on in all of these arenas. And when you're at the meeting, a meeting of this size and of this uh, scope, it, it kind of takes on a life of its own, and you'll hear about exciting things that are happening. There'll, there'll be a buzz about particular areas that people are excited about. So for a young scientist to come to a meeting like this and, and feel that energy, it really is energy that you can feel at the meeting. And I would be very surprised if any young scientist comes to the meeting and doesn't leave with some new area that they're excited about. It's almost impossible for that not to happen.